If you're an Amazon seller that wants to run a rebate campaign to rank a product higher, but maybe you don't want to rebate people by using cash or a gift card, and instead you would rather do like a buy one, get one free where they buy the product full price on Amazon and then they get a free item from your Shopify store, all while using a messenger bot and collecting email addresses along the way, then keep watching this video because I'm about to be showing you a messenger bot that I personally built out for a client that is going to do just that. We're trying to increase the ranking on one of his products on Amazon and we are doing a BOGO offer. So people are gonna see a Facebook ad saying, buy this item and get a free $23 gift card. And it's not really a gift card, it's basically a $23 promo code that is going to be used on his Shopify store. So if any of that sounds intriguing to you, then keep watching this video and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, first things first, let me tell you who I am. My name is is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. Now we work with a lot of Amazon sellers to help them run Facebook ads, Google ads, Amazon PPC, build out messenger bots and email marketing. So if you want help with anything like that to scale your business, then book a free consulting call with me by heading to that little link right down there, evolvemedia.agency. We can hop on the phone or Zoom call and we can figure out what kind of strategy is best for scaling up your Amazon business. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you my screen. And let's go ahead and show you the mini chat bot that I have built out here for this client. Now this client sells women's pajamas, comfy little pajamas, and basically this is the first message in the flow. So it's gonna say, thank you for your interest in our two-piece pajama set. After you buy the PJ set on Amazon, then we will verify your order. They're gonna give us their order ID in order for us to verify that they had a legit order. Then we're going to give them a $23 gift card, which is really just a promo code that we created in Shopify, which is going to give them $23 off their order. Now this client wanted to do like a $23 valid on any item. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can do something a little bit more specific where you make it just one item in particular or you give them every choice or maybe even just a specific collection. But basically what we're doing is we're using a specific uh, Shopify app, which is going to create thousands of promo codes, and we can be very specific with how we want those codes to be used, and those are unique uh, single-use codes that we are then going to put into a Google Sheet, and then we're going to tie that Google Sheet with this actual Messenger bot. So it's all pretty complex, but I'm gonna quickly go over this bot, show you how it works, and if you wanna just kind of duplicate what you see in this video and try to build it yourself. Or if you want to actually book a consulting call with me, we can talk more about it and I can give you a, a quote on actually building out this exact bot for your Amazon business. All right, going back to the bot, you can see here if they say no, then we just say, okay, no biggie. We hope to speak with you later. If they say yes, then we're gonna do some things on the back end and basically we can set a limiter on this flow to limit the amount of daily giveaways that we are giving out. So as you can see here, we would set our daily giveaway amount and then once the daily giveaway, like once we reach 10 or 20 um, of these deals per day, it's not gonna let anybody else go through the flow. So that is super valuable. And if you didn't know, this is actually a seller tools flow that I modified heavily. Seller tools is a tool that is gonna allow us to connect ManyChat with the actual Seller Central account so that we can do the actual order verification and verify if it's actually a legit order. So let's go ahead and jump back into this. Um, so it's gonna do some things on the back end, you know, check the abuse protection tags, see if they've already been tagged with the, uh, you know, gotten the rebate. If they have gotten the rebate and gone through this flow, we're gonna say sorry, looks like you've ever got already gotten this deal. If they have not gotten this deal yet, then we're gonna go over the terms of the deal, give them a little bit more information as to how this process is gonna work. Then here is where we actually ask for their email address. Now we're gonna deliver their promo code in two different ways. One is through email, and then the other way is just directly through Messenger. But obviously we wanna get their email address from them just in case there's any malfunctions with Messenger because there are a lot of glitches and malfunctions that happen with Messenger and Facebook. We wanna get that email address. I always recommend building your email list and why not try and get uh, your Amazon customer's email address. Now, you can actually run this flow to your past Amazon customers and just be able to target them with this kind of special offer free gift or you can target new Amazon customers and get new customers to come in and do full price buys on Amazon with this flow. So going back to it, we get their email address and then we go ahead, we, we check the blacklist to make sure that everything is good there. Again, we're trying to do a lot of abuse protections 
with this flow. We don't want to get abused. Now, if everything passes, then they're going to get the good to go, okay to purchase. Now with this link right here, we are doing a pixel file link. So this is a, an optimized link that is going to trigger specific keywords. We're actually using the rotator with Pixelfy. So two keywords are getting attribution, two keyword phrases are getting attribution during this process. So they click and they buy through those um, keywords and that uh, URL that we created with Pixelfy. Then a 10 minute delay is gonna happen. And then we're going to hit them up and ask them, hey, are you ready to verify your order? And let's go ahead and see if you know you actually bought. Give us your order ID number, and let's go ahead and uh, verify that order. Now, if they did actually buy, they're going to see this message right here that says, "Okay, what's your order ID?" Once we collect that, then it's going to be sent over to uh, Seller Tools API, which is going to be sent over to Amazon Seller Central. We're going to pull that data and see if we can actually get their order number. You know, based on the order number they gave us, if we can pull in and see if that's a valid order number. Now, another option with this flow is that we can actually do an ASIN verification. So if we wanted to make it set for an exact ASIN that they have to buy, um, then that's where we could put it in right here. But with this product, because this is a product that has multiple sizes, so multiple child ASINs would be there. We didn't want to overcomplicate things. We didn't want to potentially create a glitch or something that could mess up with putting multiple ASINs. So we just left that out. So there is no ASIN uh, order verification on this actual flow, but that is something that you can set up. All right, now if all systems are go and they pass the test, then they're gonna get this message right here saying, thanks, we verified your order. Once we receive confirmation that your order has shipped, we'll go ahead and email you your gift card. And then a whole bunch of automation in the back end is happening where basically many chat and seller tools are checking Amazon to see if that order status has changed from pending to shipped. This is gonna be going on over the course of a couple days. And then another blacklist check is gonna be done. And then also if they cancel their order, it's going to tell uh, many chat and then they will be sent into this flow right here. As you can see, if order status is canceled, we're gonna send them this message. Oh no, it looks like you canceled your order. You're done, get out of my life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, if all systems are go and everything works out, then they will get this message right here saying, okay, your order is shipped. Can we go ahead and get you that promo code, which will give you $23 off your order at our store? Then they're gonna click on yes, obviously, who wouldn't, right? And then uh, we're gonna add a tag to go ahead and tag that they have actually gotten this deal. And then we are going to go through the process of reaching into our Google Sheet, which has thousands of coupon codes, and then pulling out their specific code and then giving it to them now that whole process right there is a convoluted one. I'm not going to go over it in this video, but basically you're linking your Google sheet with your mini chat. You're making it so that there is a bot field and then there is a, a, a movement that happens as each person claims their unique codes. It's basically progressing down the list in the Google sheet. It can get a little bit complex, but anyway, once the uh, the coupon code has been grabbed from the Google sheet, then they're going to be emailed this email right here, all through ManyChat, and then they're gonna be sent this message right here saying, we've emailed your promo code to the below address, and um, the below email address looks like I need to uh, update that because I don't actually have their email address showing. It looks like I forgot to put in their little um, custom field there. There's their coupon code being delivered. Then we tell them simply copy paste that code. Now we want to put it in its own message because on mobile you can just hover your finger over it or hold your finger down on it and it'll copy all the text that's in that message. So a little hack there I recommend putting the coupon code in its own little message box so that you make it easier for the customer to actually be able to copy it. Then we're just telling them, use your code, here's a link, go to the store, buy it, and then we have a smart delay after a set period of days that we set up, then I think I put it for like seven days, 10 days, something like that. And then after that time period passes, then they're gonna receive an email just asking for a review, saying, hey, um, you know, we are a small business, we operate on Amazon and Amazon values, uh, customer feedback and reviews. So you want to, when you ask for a review, you want to kind of tell them that you're a small family owned business. You know, you're, you're just trying your best to get by and reviews are very important to you. So there, then we ask for a review. So that is basically 
the flow in a nutshell. Didn't wanna make this video too long, didn't wanna to go too in depth. If you have questions about this flow and you wanna book a free consulting call with me to ask questions or get something like this set up for your business, then again, head over to that little URL right down there, evolvemedia.agency. And I mean, if you wanna chat about anything, email marketing for your business and running Clavio campaigns, linking up with a Shopify site, running Amazon PPC a little bit better, me and my team actually do a great job with Amazon PPC on all, and on average, we get about a 4X ROAS for a lot of our clients when we're managing their PPC. So we'd love to talk with you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.